Hello everyone, happy Friday, and welcome back to Let's Play Daggerfall Unity. Uh, I hope you have some good things planned for the weekend, I certainly do. Uh, but for now, we're going to be playing some Daggerfall Unity, and today what we're going to do is do a quest for the Cartographer's Guild, uh, which we got a letter about. Um, and yeah, that's that's what we're planning on doing. So, so we have to find this guy in Master House Hall in the Elysian Hills. So let's actually head to... Master House Hall to get instructions on how, how to get to this location he wants us to map. Let's see, we're now looking, let's see, for the Kingsley Residence, which is north. Keep going north. All right, it's on our map. Uh, it's this building right here. Perfect. Now let's find the cartographer. It'll be one of these two that will give us the instructions. So we'll save right before we get those instructions. Welcome, Scout. The route before you is not particularly easy. A friend told me you can reach the Glen Moriel Coven like this. First, mount a horse at the old Christos's place in Ellison Hills. Get the horse pressed up against the house's west wall. Okay, get the horses. Get the horse pressed up against the house's west wall, and then ride for between 80 and 85 seconds directly to the west. Okay. After that, continue north until you see it. It looks like a brick dome with grass on top. So we're gonna we're gonna head directly west for 80 to 85 seconds, and then continue north until we see it. Okay. If you find yourself at the same latitude as the Hearth Heart Cemetery, you've gone too far to the north. It's east of Crossfort and north of Old Evelona's place, if that's any help. I don't know if this is your first time meeting the witches, but if it is, make sure you've got a strong stomach before you do them any favors. Ooh, we're going, oh, we're going to meet witches. This is the first time we've gone to meet witches. Actually, this is actually pretty exciting. Okay, I'm actually going to take a picture of this on my phone, uh, just to make sure I have these instructions in case they don't go into the log how we want them. Um, but this this is an exciting quest. I'm excited to do this. So, let's see. Let's see what went into our log. This is not uh, as detailed as it was, but Old Christaus's place is where we're going first. So, Old Christaus's place. Four forty a.m. Okay, now let me look at the instructions. I have them out here on my phone. So it says, "Get our horse pressed up against the house's west wall." Okay. So, uh, if this is west, then this would be the west wall right here, right? That makes sense. This is the west wall. Okay, got it. Okay, now ride for between eighty and eighty-five seconds directly to the west. Okay, so let, let's mount a horse, and I'm gonna get a little my clock up my clock app up here on uh, my phone get my stopwatch out i'm going to time 80 to 85 seconds hold on 80 to 85 seconds start now oh wait no they okay, start now okay now i assume we're not sprinting on our horse we're just going to trot um because sprinting would be faster than how uh, a horse normally moves in daggerfall Hopefully these instructions will work. It's been about 30 seconds now. would be nicer to look at the landscape would be nicer to look at in the daytime but is how it is we're at about 60 seconds we have another 20 to go it's been about 70 seconds And 
and we're right approaching 80 seconds now. It's a minute and 20 seconds. So this is about this is about 80 to, 80 to 85 seconds right here. Okay. So it said to after that head north, I think, right? Let me check. Let's see. <clears throat> after that, continue north until you see it. It looks like a brick dome with grass on top. Continue north until you see it? Okay. Let's head north. Holy shit, centaurs. Leave me alone, gentlemen. Let's save the game so I don't lose uh, my spot, the spot I'm at. I don't want to leave this general area because I need to head straight north. I'm going to get off my horse real quick. Hold on. Uh, yeah, hold on. Get me on foot. Nice. And I'll take all of your things, too. Put all this into the wagon. Okay. Right, so we head north from this spot. Until we see it. Yeah, okay. Let's go. And now we can sprint. We can actually, we could do, we could rest here if we wanted. Get some mana back. Actually, we won't do that for the time being. We'll just head north. And you'll notice that all the trees here are back to the normal 2D sprites, and that's because even though we have trees of Daggerfall installed, it's only currently like the temperate set. They don't have the the uh, winter trees uh, made in 3D models yet. I'm very excited for uh, if that's in development uh, when that gets made, though. Okay, we want to be out look on the lookout. I actually wonder if, if during the day we'd actually be able to see better, so if, if it's a good idea for that reason to uh, sleep a little bit. Let's at least sleep like four hours so it's morning. Uh, but of course enemies have to spawn. Ah, uh, it's an orc. Okay. Orc shaman. Okay. Well, this is good enough. Seven, seven in the morning. Let's keep heading north. Be on the lookout for it on either side. Problem is it's kind of hilly around here, so it's sort of hard to uh, get a good look at our surroundings. Never should have come here. Okay, we've got some robbers out to get us. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Take all of your things, thank you. And you both as well should not have. You both should should not have uh, tried to, to challenge me. Might as well use this fireball mark that we never use. Oh, that's kind of powerful actually. Okay. back to the north. I know we've deviated slightly from the exact location we were told about, but hopefully that shouldn't have too much of an effect on us missing it or something like that. We're about to be at the top of a hill, so we should have a chance to look around and figure out where we are exactly. Uh... Let's see, we have a good look at the distance now. I'm not seeing anything that resembles what we're looking for. But let's check our location on the map because it said that if we go past, if we're the same latitude as some other thing, then we've gone too far. Let's see, 
if we find ourselves at the same latitude as the Hearth Heart Cemetery. So that would be a dungeon. So let's see where we are again here. Oh, okay. So we're, we're not at the same latitude as the Hearth Heart uh, Cemetery yet. Oh, is that the coven right there? Glen Moral Coven? Did we already pass it? Surely we didn't. Oh, no, it's just a little bit more north of here, as far as I can tell. So let's just keep heading north. Still no sign of it, but I think we're going in generally the right direction here. Maybe at the top of this hill we'll find something. Okay, let's see. Still don't see anything. Let's check on our latitude. Ooh, it looks a little bit to the west of here, honestly. Seems like we've gone a bit too much north, or I think it's a little bit west, as far as I can tell from that. I certainly don't see anything through all these trees. Let's see. Looks like we're right on it, but we're definitely not. Or it's hard to see, I suppose. Can we travel there? Oh, we can just travel right there. Is this it right here? Okay. You dome the dome before you must be of a Glenmorial Witch's Coven. You can report this to Ithister Woodhouse. Okay. Well, that was kind of cheating in a way, but it did give us the option to travel there. I guess it's because we were in close proximity to it, or I'm not sure how that worked exactly. Uh, this is interesting, though, because this is uh, the first Witch's Coven we've ever been to, so it might be interesting to go uh, check out what's going on in here. Check out what illicit activity is going on in here. Um, I wonder if we could do a quest for them. That might be interesting. Talk to Daedra Summoning Quest. I can do Daedra Summoning today? Is that just a total coincidence? I mean, I'm very tempted to do that if we can do that today just for whatever random reason. That, that's super lucky if we just happen to be here on the day that you can uh, do this Daedra Summoning. Um, yes, perhaps I do want to do that. The cost is 200,000 gold. Well, I wish we had 200,000 gold, uh, but we don't. I mean, we do, but we don't want to spend all our money doing that. So maybe we'll do that a different day. Let's see what's going on in here. They all just sort of say the same thing, I guess. Well, uh, maybe we can get a quest and do it. Why not? That'd be fun, right? Let's, let's, let's do a quest. The Glen... The The Glen Morial Witches Coven. <laughs> uh actually could use the assistance of a in a mo most absurd and yet serious matter. Thou hast no illusions that the witches of Elysian Hill are despised. None trust us for long, for our power and solitude make us a difficult force to manipulate. We have discovered a trap that will soon be sprung on us, and we need someone to be able to disable it. Are thou interested in such a quest in exchange for an emerald? Yes. Thou wilt take this then, child. We're been a master mastering, she says her name is. We found her some days ago, abandoned by her people. Clearly, she has been placed here so our enemies can prove that we are involved in, what do you suppose, human sacrifice, the corruption of innocence? Nothing so mundane as kidnapping, I'd wager. Barbara Mastering tells us that her parents live at the Bucking House residence in Uthville. Lead the child back, but beware. Our fine enemies would rather murder the two of ye than allow the child to return home. Come back to us in 52 days or less, and we'll have thy emerald for thee. Good luck. Okay. This should be fun. And this is actually an honorable quest, because these witches are clearly looked upon falsely. They don't want to 
sacrifice anyone. In fact, the bad people are the ones going after them. So let's see where we have to go again. We need to go, okay, I already did that quest. Uh, I'm bringing a child who was abandoned at the coven of the Glenmoria witches back home. Uh, the Bucking, Bucking residence in Upville. Okay, we, see, we have to go to Uphill. Okay, got it. Up or Upville, I guess this mu must must be what it is. Okay, let's head there now. Suffer not the child of the Glen Morial witches and and the Glen Morial witches to live. Someone screams. Where am I being attacked from? Ouch. Leave her alone. Okay, look at all that equipment you had on you. I'm really kind of low on health here. All right, let's find where, where we need to go. People, no, general it must be. Let me see, where is... General, the Bucking, Buckingham residence. All right, we got it marked on our map, beautiful. Right down to the southeast. This is where I live. This is my home. Barba Mastering gives you a kiss on the cheek. Thank you, Titian. No problem. I'm here to help. Are you happy that I brought your child back? Okay, now. So we need to go back and return both of our quests for the witches and for the cartographer's guild. So is there actually an inn in this town? Well, let's go stay in an inn because we're actually kind of low on health here. So we'll stay in an inn for the night and then we will head and return both of our quests. Here is the inn. Need a room for one day. And let's just rest until we're fully healed. Oh, there's enemies nearby. What are you doing in here? Is this another one of the assassins who wants to kill me because I'm marked for dead? No, oh, it's just a random warrior. I'm not sure why they were after me. Okay, well, can I rest in peace now? Oh, I can't. Okay, wonderful, hold on. I know for remedy for this, we have to save the game and then load it. Maybe it was a uh, one dress because we're marked for dead. I'm not sure if, uh, oh, oh, there's another one right here, I see. Hopefully we live through this, we're kind of low on health. What is this right here, a Dwarven Curse? Well, almost as good as what we have. Well, let's put all this in our wagon, pick all of this up, put it into our wagon. We did take everything off this guy's body, right? Or did we not? Okay. I'll put this in our wagon to sell for later. Let's see if we can rest in peace for a little while. Oh, we can't. Hello, sir. Ouch. Okay, we'll save the game again. See if we can get some rest now. Holy crap. Yeah, not sure why uh, I can't seem to get any rest here. I'm so close to dying, actually. I have to be careful. All right. We are making a lot of money, though. Okay, save the game. 446. And let's see if we can... Oh, okay. <laughs> Is this a glitch? No idea if this is a glitch. Holy shit, we got a Daedric Staff, boys. Well, that's pretty big. Some good-looking items here. We'll certainly take all of that. Daedric Staff, that's got to be really enchantable. Can we even equip staffs? Or is, does our class prohibit us? Oh, we can. Okay, interesting. Okay, we, okay let's save the game. Did we just save the game? We'll save it again. Let's overwrite it. Uh, is it... Okay, surely something must be glitched out in here. So let's just leave. What if we go back in and then rest? Will it give us some respite? No, it won't. Okay. All right. And try and rest. Right, okay, got it. 
Not sure what's going on, but um, let's leave this in. And let's try going to the other end of town. I feel like this must be some sort of glitch. I know that there's some sort of passive quest going on where people are coming after us, but I'm pretty sure they're meant to stop coming after us after a certain number of days. And it feels like it has been that amount of time now where we should be left alone. Let's see. Save the game here. And then see what happens if we get a room for one day. Try and rest. Okay. Hmm. That is that is strange. It's hard to uh, kill this guy without getting killed here. Uh, I guess we'll take all of this. Put it in our wagon. Uh, try once more. Okay. Well, we're just not going to be allowed to rest, I guess. Not sure what's going on here, but can we leave? Okay. Now, uh, I guess we'll just travel back to one of the towns that the quest involves and try and rest once we're there. Uh, let's see. Master House Hall, that's where we're meant to present our chart. Okay, let's head there now. Master House Hall. Okay. Here we are. There's the Kingsley residence. Holy shit. We're being attacked and we have absolutely no HP to deal with it. Let's try going and getting some rest in uh, in here. Get a room. Right, I swear we're going to get attacked immediately when we try and rest. I don't know what's going on, but something is awry. Okay. Hmm. Weird. There's some sort of thing going on here. I don't know what it is. Yeah. All right. Well, let's just try and go straight into the hall and uh, get the quest finished. Let's see. Head up north. And then, you know, we can uh, I'll try and brainstorm, figure out what's going on. Uh, uh, once, once we finish this up. Let's see. Here you are. Welcome back. Pretty weird people, right? You're free to go back and see what they have to offer if you want. Just remember to keep me and the rest of the association out of it. If you find you drinking blood and dancing in a thunderstorm or something, we're keeping our, na our names far from it. Understood. Maybe it's because we haven't finished this uh, Witch's Coven quest, and until we finish it, people are going to come after us. And if that's the case, let's head back to the Witch's Coven immediately. And let them know that we're done with our quest, that this person's after me. Hello, I'm done with your quest. It's good that Barba Mastering is home. Perhaps the kindness the Glend Moral Witches showed will dispel some of the myths of our inequity for the next generation. Here is thy emerald. Awesome. And we can actually enchant this uh, once we uh, are able to enchant things. Now let's see if we can actually go rest in peace. Uh, and then, obviously, we've done two big quests now uh, this episode, so we'll wrap things up. But let's see if we can actually go and rest in peace now. If not, I'll sort of try and brainstorm, I guess. Or not brainstorm, but, you know, troubleshoot whatever's going on uh, in between this episode and the next one. Let's see. Because if not, there's probably some sort of glitch going on. If we head straight south, there should be a tavern. If you notice that the screen's darker, that's because when you're really, really low on health, the game informs you uh, that you're low on health and you need to rest. Thought this was an inn? Okay, let's go in. Alright, give me a room, please. We'll save the game. Okay, let's see. Thank the Lord, we're no longer being constantly attacked every time we try and rest. That's very good to know. Hello, sir. Nord, I need help and quickly. For the past several nights, I have suffered dreams of a terrifying sort, all related to a coven of witches I believe I offended a fortnight ago. Interesting. In these dreams, I see myself being carried away into death by spirits of the world beyond. Please help me right my wrong, that perhaps I be spared of this offense I have committed. Then let us hurry. I desire to speak to one member of the coven, Victoria Hartcroft, who at least tolerates my presence. Please take me to Masterson Hall to see her. If I, 
If I have any hope of averting disaster, it will be through speaking to her. I will give you everything I have, or we can hurry this without delay. I'm ready to go now. Well, that's what we'll do next time. For now, we'll save the game, and thank you everyone for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the Cartographer's Guild quest and the Witch's Coven quest, and next time we will help this guy out and go to another Witch's Coven. So, I'll see you all then.